Like, no one saw that shit coming. Central Police Station, 8.06 p.m. Oh shit, yeah, we left a guy in there. Oh yeah, from the previous <laughs> case. Sorry about that. You better not go soft on me. Charge a suspect with murder. Oh. Molars in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Right, shit just got serious. Which one did it? Don't know. Look, I'm not gonna go soft in here. I'm gonna stay hard as ever. We were on our way to interview Eli Lilly. Yes, folks, I know. This particular thing is no grievance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in the magical control of a god. Whichever way it goes, I will be in possession. What the fuck did that mean? Fine and fucking ignore me. See if I care. You look like you've had it rough. See me asking for your sympathy, boy? Be down on your luck, Eli. I have work. My family is old children in the dressing room. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I have me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. What do you think? What was his job? Don't know, but there's nothing on here to say he what? What was this guy's name again? No, that was the husband. Was it? Oh yeah, his name's Eli Rooney. Wanna doubt him? I'll doubt him, because we need to know what he does, does as a job. This place you worked have a name? Tennessee Marine. <gasps> Plot twist! Can't miss the place, big yellow letters, HMM. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Plot twist. Dang thing was hot by the guys back in the pen there. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them that. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to give people the damn show. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Or answer is yes. Do you have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. What do you think? I mean, to be fair, it is just a rope. True for doubt. Hmm. I think he's telling the truth. He literally just said any rope will do him fine. Okay. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer the Fuck brakes. yeah. Am I right? I prefer brakes. Ty hits your brakes. It stays tight. You killed Mrs. Moeller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Well, he stole the jewellery. Was the jewellery in the booth? No, he had that on him. Well, yeah, he had the butterfly boats, didn't he? Yeah. He had it on him. So, lying in the brooch? You killed and stole the jewellery. Ain't so, ain't done nothing like that. Well, how did he have the brooch? Definitely bring up the brooch, because otherwise, how the fuck does he have it? Needed the money, so you killed her. I've been around since, son. You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from that woman? And well, he's got us there. We got no. We got no evidence he stole it from her. We just have evidence he had it. Looks like I was mistaken. Hmm. Always, I'm confused now. You killed Mrs. Muller and you stole her jewelry. Is that so? I ain't done nothing like that. Unless, is there evidence that that butterfly is hers? Well, go back to the evidence. Got 
rope pattern. We got missing water rings, small man's footprint. Maybe he doesn't know that the but or we know that the butterfly belongs to her. Go with it. I don't know. I'm saying go with the lie and then butterfly budge. <laughs> I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you forget the case, but my calculation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? Money? Hugo Moll is our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him. Where is the other dude? Interview room two. This way. Thanks for following me. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill him. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Well, he was burning his shoes. I mean, the lie would be the footprints we found at the scene. Do we ever get the size? No, it just says small men's footprints, but that's definitely the. Shit, Hugo. Oh. You want us to feel sorry for you? We feel sorry for your wife. The blood came from the wound in your wife's head. Why would I lie? You can check at the workshop. Go with the footprint? Unless there's like a. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's yeah. It's definitely small men's footprints, isn't it? Let's go with it. You don't want to catch the real guy. You just want to blame me. Shit. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? That's just the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. This one's a difficult one. I have no idea. I'm going to let you take this one. You want to use some intuition? No. Shall we just douse him? He looks like he has more to say. Go on, then. You learned to strangle with a rope in the army? With ropes, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Was it his clothes that we found in the booth? Well, that's the thing. Eli said... Hey, Jim, so it could be either of them. Hey, Jim, could also mean Hugo Muller. That's rather the exact point. Shall we go with overalls? Your call. Fuck it. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. Seems obvious my though. Overalls are in the laundry of my house. Unless they really are Eli's and the HM is for the company he works with. Green overalls, blood stain, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron. An appropriate choice of tools for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Hey, 
But Go why, up, Penny. Why would he put it in the boot of a car? Doubt him. You're gonna die for this. Damn. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. Ooh. We're letting you go for now. Oh, wait, wait, what? Go home and see your daughter. And work on your story. It's got more holes than a batting cage. That's the guy. Detective. That's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away. Oh, fuck. Shit, I... I thought, ah. Uh... You let him go, jackass. I thought the idea was I'm allowed to go back and forth and choose between. No. <laughs> Shit. It just said. That was into... decision. That was decision making. Did you just put let him go? Yeah, I let him go, thinking by pressing B, I was allowed to look in between the two and make my decision. And no, then... that was decision time, which is why I went, oh shit. Whoops. I was that uh, whoops. I was leaning more <laughs> towards this go. guy. To be honest, yeah, I was thinking the same. Although I wouldn't have made the decision quite that quickly. Yeah, once again, didn't realize I was gonna flat out just let him go. Fuck you. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. <laughs> Just don't get your head knocked off by a fucking wall. Yay! It ends here, Hugo. Once we get the janitor's statement, you'll be staring down a Navy charge. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sums, sums up that best. <laughs> the dude in the next person sells the guy from the last case. Whoops. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so pissed that I let him go. <laughs> I have to say I'm Oh fuck off! I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, Ryan. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. The next case will come when you survive my faith in your ability. When was the last time anything okay. saved? <laughs> ah, shit. We fucked up. So, if you fuck up a case, which we've done, so, is that what the street there? Uh... Oh, what did we do wrong? We Apart keep... from let him go. Well, that's just depressing. <laughs>